So, you know, this is the last video. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Sid Meier's Alien Crossfire. Uh, the stuff I breeze through, um, one, for based on your score, uh, there will be a section where you will have, like, uh, book titles unlocked, depending on how well you do in score. And some of them are quite entertaining. The other one is... The other one is... Um, uh, a section that allows you to uh, see uh, your scores for each faction. The ones that were currently in play, anyway. Hmm. I still didn't get a video, though. It's disappointing. <laughs> I was captured and interrogated by the leaders, as it should be. Because I didn't deserve to win that one. And, yeah, the computer outplayed me. I... Got outplayed. I didn't play up to, uh, I guess, uh, the potential I could have until it was too late. And uh, I deserved to have lost the game. But you saw how effective I was still becoming. Um, even with, say, you know, even as screwed as I was, by just retooling my economy and using all the formers to uh, build boreholes and uh, issuing out all those supply convoys, I was actually making positive income and the advancement of my bases had rapidly accelerated. Uh, so as you can see, there was a huge benefit to doing what I did, and there was a there's a clear difference in how well I played between uh, the session I originally recorded in the Lost episodes and this one. Now, of course, things still ended in a fail train for me. And, uh, in part, you could blame that due to uh, me declaring uh, the optional rule that uh, you're allowed to steal tech, with a uh, base conquest and you can see that here normally the only civ the only faction that can steal tech with a planetary conquest is uh, the cybernetic faction but uh, standard rules disallow that standard rules also disallow you from selecting precise research goals I believe I stated that in the intro I'm sure I did so yeah I will uh, display it for you again here. Info can steal technology when capturing a base. The others may not do so. So while I used that to uh, jumpstart my sieve whenever I was attacking uh, the Conclave of Love, um, the usurpers used it in turn to pretty much put the knife in my back. Um, that's not to say that the game would have been over. It had fusion power, but. It certainly puts them back on eagle terms with me, and the alien factions, come on. It's ridiculous. Plus one grove, plus one morale, ooh, minus one planet, plus 25% offensive combat, that's a bonus I can never beat. Free recycling tanks, the energy grid, the energy grid replaces, oh, god damn it, commerce, which, I didn't, I didn't get any commerce. Go away. I didn't. Whole whole concept of trading that, that fucking game was. I think I may have gotten a little kid that did commerce, commerce in the beginning from trading with uh, the lovers. One minute. Yeah. The, the situation evolved very quickly in terms of trading because I decided to make an enemy out of the, the conclave of love because I needed to. Uh, to consolidate bases and capture their shit somehow. Quick look again at what I set for them, or her. Uh, playing as her, as I say, two fewer drones in each base, make seed population cap by two free children's crutch, plus two growth, oh my goodness. She starts with a tank that allows you to have democracy, which, uh, as I'm sure I noted before, pretty much results in instant pop boom, whereas uh, with the sect, you don't get a pop boom barring, I mean, <laughs> I, Golden Age is, I think, uh, give pop booms. Uh, they give you plus one growth, I think. But still, minus two growth to begin with, you can't pick, uh, you, he can choose democracy. <laughs> I don't think it's even possible for the pop boom, which takes out a huge, a huge point in, uh, 
and uh, powering up your civilization, which allows you to do quite well in the game. His for his benefits, I mean, the impunity to fundamentalist penalty is great. Makes probe teams more act powerful. Uh, units can't be mind controlled. That's big. The police thing is not a big deal though. The industry that is, and the morale that depends. It's certainly not as big as. I mean, minus two morale, minus two police. Psh, whatever. Plus two growth. Your bases will absolutely crush anybody else's. Um, also, uh, now that I'm thinking of questions that were asked, uh, or comments that were made um, regarding these videos, uh, somebody asked if you could play with all 14 factions, and to my knowledge, the answer is no. Um, I Maybe there's some way to mod and tweak that out. I don't know. Really don't know. I really want to say the hard, fast answer is no. Haven't seen anything on it in all the years I played this game. But uh, seven, seven factions is quite enough, especially whenever you add the neutral barbarian faction. I'm trying to imagine some sort of hodgepodge, a uh, huge planet thing with all 14 factions, and that makes my head hurt. <laughs> Although it'd be interesting to see. Yeah. Um... I'm thinking I may come back to this one in the future. Uh, I will leave the uh, my custom factions alone. I think I'll just stick to the original factions this time. The new ones, they really add a whole lot of power. And uh, the diversification to it. But like the aliens, for instance, if I were to play as one of the aliens, <laughs> the concept of me losing would be alien. Um, him, I never cared for Cha Don and the Cola Planet, and her, and him, but I mean like the pirates for instance, oh my gosh, the, the, the AI really does not have a good grasp of sea naval warfare and uh, building lots of shit and good shit on the sea, so everything that he can get, how he can start on the ocean, and he can build bases in the deep ocean, and it's not a problem for him. That's amazing. There's, uh... As opposed to this, there's just simple advantages and disadvantages. Really simplistic game. Not really simplistic, just simpler. And, uh... I, I think sometime in the future, could be fucking next year for all I know, I'll revisit this game, I'll actually set the difficulty lower. And so I can have more fun with it. <laughs> so I won't have to go through that embarrassing thing I did. I'm not embarrassed. I don't care. I loaded. I fucking tried to fucking hack my way out of that fucking I'm gonna have to give up fusion power bullshit. And I couldn't. The game beat me fair and square on that one. I deserved that loss. But I'm cool with that. I showcased that. Um, I still feel vastly better about this than I do about uh, that horrible effort I put up in... Um, lost episodes, and uh, even though you guys didn't see them, and probably won't get a chance to see them, unless you ship me chill t children's tears, I do apologize for that. Because uh, I would have uploaded those videos had it not been for uh, my dastardly internet connection at the time. And that would have been a shame. Would have missed out on all this interesting thing that happened. On the other hand, you would have gotten to see me annihilate all of my bases, those provoking everyone else at the time who wasn't at war with me, uh, which was the caretakers and the pirates, and de declaring war on me due to my heinous atrocities and killing my own people. It was funny. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks, there you go. Uh, thank you for joining me on this extremely delayed, long and drawn-out journey through uh, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri Alien Crossfire. Uh, it was quite a ride. It took as long as fuck. That's due to me and not due to you, naturally. Um, questions or comments, uh, you may feel a little uh, sour about the way this ended, but really, this was the way it should have ended. Uh, it could have kept dragging on, I could have kept dragging it on, but I showcased. I showcased pretty good stuff. I especially showcased a lost. The only thing I didn't showcase, though, is uh, the video that you get whenever you yourself are put in a punishment sphere, which is what happens. 
during interrogation. Hoorah! Probably should have said huzzah. It doesn't, doesn't really sound right for me to say hoorah. Yeah, that's not that's not a word for me. Yeah, but all right. Uh, appreciate the viewership uh, and uh, the the patience that was that was given through the early uh, bad quality videos to get to something like this. Thank you for tuning in again, and uh, see you next time with. I guess I'm going to Galactic Civilizations too. Oh shit! Another strategy game I can lose at. Yay! Till then, folks. I'm Grimith. You stay classy. Or something. Just, just, just do it. Okay, don't argue with me. I, I might have eliminated myself, but this is still functioning as a temple of loyalty. You don't like me? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm not here to cuddle you. <laughs> Who of you want to cuddle me? You know, I I, I could be open to that. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, doodles. Why do I keep saying? Will you fucking end the goddamn fuck? <laughs>